Got a little button here, convex on the front there. I'll take it. First relic of the day. Yeah, buffalo. The brass buffalo. You never know what's gonna pop up. That's a great find. It is the top of a two-piece button. A little copper or brass bracelet. Three buckles from this place. I'm back home. I'm back on one of my colonial sites. Old spring right, th right down there. Old house would have been right along in here. Uh, using AT Pro today. I've got a little button here. Got some flower patterns on it. I don't know if this is a two piece. I don't know, I don't think so. I think it may have a a shank, or the shank may be broke off. I think it's broke off. Anyway, that's a nice flat button there. Convex on the front there. Get it cleaned up and see what it looks like. Still running this AT Pro. And they got an iron buckle here, and I believe that it's probably still going to have the uh, tongue, I guess you call it. That one there will probably clean up. I'll take it. Down in Tennessee with uh, Tennessee Jeff, we're hunting an old house sat here along a creek. Creek is back over in that way. And uh, I got my first signal, and it's a harmonica reed. That's always a good sign and a good find. First relic of the day. This one here wasn't a real great signal. A little bit choppy, but you can see it in the hole right there. It's round. Well buffalo that's a good find don't know if I'm going to get a date off of it but that's a good find working my AT Pro now because I'm in a bunch of, of junk right here and I've got the small coil on it and uh, I was getting a pretty solid 78 it's a uh, it's a brass buckle of some sort here. I found these before. I'm not sure what they go on, but uh, that's a, that's a good find. Looks like it's broke right there on that end, but I'll take it. I opened up this plug, and I haven't even touched it. I just seen it. It's broke on the back right there, but boy, that's in nice shape. Man, it's in great shape. That's going to clean up good. You know, that's the beauty of where we live and where we oh, hunt. Yeah. We've got all the because uh, you've got uh, Native American site, then colonial, then turn of the uh, Civil War, and then turn of the century. And, and uh, 
I mean, you never know what's going to pop yeah. up. That's a great find. I'm headed out to one of my colonial sites this morning, and I want to do a shout out to my buddy Smells Like Silver before I get all hot and sweaty, which will probably be about 30 minutes. Man, it's hot here in Southern Kentucky. But Smells Like Silver, you see his channel there on your screen. If you like watching videos where silver is found, you're gonna love this guy. He makes some good finds, he makes some good videos, so check him out. Smells Like Silver, like, subscribe, and share, and tell him that Seven sent you. I'm back with the CTX, and uh, I've already got this one out of the hole and brushed it off. It is uh, the top of a two-piece button, some kind of a civilian button, mid-1900s probably. Anyway, that's a good find. Got a button today. I'm on the back side of the house. We've been working the front. I'm on the back and still got my CTX. And I've got another buckle, another brass buckle. Still got the tongue in it. And everything is free. Looks pretty good. By 1900, it's not that old, but yeah, it's a good find. We're taking us, I guess, a water break, ain't we? Yeah, it's about time for water. <laughs> about time for the creek. About time for the creek is right. There's the old house right there, and I pretty well have concentrated right here in the front. I found this piece a while ago, and, and uh, I didn't film it. We were standing here getting a drink of water and talking. That's decorative all the way around. That's uh, like a little copper or brass bracelet. So I'll keep that. Down below a bunch of junk here at this house. I'm just in a thicket right here. I mean, it's just, it's solid all around. If you're afraid of snakes, you probably don't need to be hunting in a spot like this. But I have found another buckle. I believe that that's going to be three buckles from this place. This is horse tack. Tongue still moves there. I'll take another one. Me and Jeff are down in Tennessee. Old house here. What would you say? Maybe 20s or 30s? That's what I was thinking, 20s. Uh, we've hunted around here today. Uh, I found a buffalo and I found three buckles and what did you find? found a uh, <clears throat> couple of pieces of pocket watch, uh, uh, that uh, read to an organ. Organ or an accordion or yeah, something other. And, it, and two marbles on surface find. Yeah, I, did, I found uh, that nice arrowhead too. You did? That, that, that's a great arrowhead. So it kind of looks like that this old house here is probably uh, 20s, 30s. It needs to, uh, all this needs to die down a little bit. It'd be a little bit easier to hunt in the winter. There's some spots that we just didn't get into right there. We hunted all this right here pretty good and found uh, most, I found most of my stuff right in here in the front yard. But anyway, we'll come back. We're gonna hit the creek a little while now. <laughs> 